What is up, Karatics? Welcome to the off-road capability testing series for the new Class A Draugr. This off-road test is an update to my off-road capability testing series where I've tested the majority of off-road capable vehicles in GTA Online. I will leave a link to a playlist down below in the pinned comment where you will find all the other vehicles I have done already so that you can compare. Before we start, if you have any questions as to how each obstacle is scored, please refer to the tutorial video which is linked in the pinned comment. Also remember that the most updated spreadsheet with all the off-road capability testing scores for vehicles I've tested so far will be linked in the pinned comment as well. The Draugr is primarily based on the Chevy off-road concept, which was formerly called the Chevy Beast concept, and boy does it live up to that name. The following points for each obstacle will be out of 10 possible points. The Class A Draugr is fully customized with visual upgrades that provide the most ground clearance, and it also has stock suspension as well. So starting off with the incline test from a flat surface, the Draugr has an insane amount of power and torque and rockets all the way past red block number nine, almost gets to red block number 10, which gives it a 9.5 out of 10. In stage two of his test, where it started at an angled position, it pulls very well, but the Camacho does go a bit higher in this stage compared to the Draugr, but regardless, it still makes it just below red block number 7, which gives it a very impressive 6.5 out of 10. If we take both those scores, we get an average of 8 for the incline test. This makes it the new king of the off-roads class for this specific test, which is very insane. Unbelievable. Next up, we have the Dirt Incline Test. It rockets to the top without any hesitation, which gives it a 10 out of 10. I've never seen an off-roader ever climb this obstacle so quickly like this, almost like it wasn't even there. It's <laughs> kind of ridiculous. And I've taken it up and down Mount Chiliad as well. It climbs pretty much any aggressive steep incline you throw at it. It's very impressive the way this thing climbs. Dirt braking is also insanely good, which is very surprising. It stops well before the markers at the bottom, which gives it a 10 out of 10. Rock crawling for the Draugr is also incredible. Through all three obstacles, it bottoms out a total of three times due to its long wheelbase, which does hurt it a bit, but with a 7 out of 10 for the stage, this one isn't too bad. However, in stage 2 of this test, which is subjectively scored, it has no hesitation or struggle at all for any of the obstacles. It's almost like they weren't even there. <laughs> this of course gives it a well-deserved 10 out of 10 for stage two of its test. If we take both those scores, we get an average of 8.5 out of 10 for the rock crawling test, which is very impressive. However, I will say the Riata does rock crawl a bit better because of its shorter wheelbase, but again, the Draugr is still overall really good, even with its longer wheelbase. Powertrain is pretty good for the Draugr, but not the best. We see wheel spin from the driver's side rear wheel and the passenger side rear wheel as well. However, it does significantly improve as the angle increases, so I'm going to be bumping that up to an 8 out of 10 for this test. Next up we have bumper clearance, so the clearance on the Draugr is ridiculously good as you might expect. It does not scrape at all which gives it an easy 10 out of 10 for this test. Suspension travel is very good, among the best in its class. According to the markers it gets an 8 out of 10. Now it's still not as good as the Desert Raid suspension travel, which makes it to marker number 9, but it's still very impressive regardless. High speed stability is extremely good, the Draugr makes it look like nothing's even there, I mean it's, <laughs> it's pretty insane. Most vehicles have trouble on this one, especially towards the end. This one, I mean, 100% smooth all the way through, easy, 10 out of 10 for this test. Next up we have deep water testing. For stage 1 of this test, it makes it to the end, which gives it a 10 out of 10.
In stage 2 of this test, which is the deeper side, the Draugr impressively makes it to the end, which gives it a 10 out of 10. If we take both those scores, we get an average of 10 out of 10 for the deep water test. And for those of you wondering about the snorkel upgrade, like most vehicles in GTA that offer this upgrade, it unfortunately does not work, and the Draugr will die if you leave it in the deep water for too long. And finally, we have the dirt acceleration test. This path is exactly a quarter mile long. Using the handbrake launch, it gets an insanely quick 11 second quarter mile making it the quickest vehicle I've ever tested in this dirt acceleration test. That gives it a very impressive 9 out of 10 for this test. But anyways, add it all together and the off-road capability score is 91.5 out of 100, which is actually insane. That makes it the first ever vehicle I've tested to break into the 90s. It, it truly is incredible. I know I say it a lot in this video of the testing, but this thing is just an absolute beast. Now, if we compare it to all the vehicles from the off-road class I've tested so far, that places it here in first place quite easily. <laughs> and if we also compare it here to all the vehicles I've tested so far from all the different classes, again, also in first place, it really is impressive how this thing performed. So there it is, the new king that finally dethroned the Desert Raid on my testing track. The Draugr, I mean, it really is incredible the way Rockstar made it. It takes the best aspects from the Camacho, the Trophy Truck, and the Desert Raid, and just puts it all into one vehicle. It's <laughs> pretty insane. It's just the best all-rounder for almost everything, except for that lack in top speed. But honestly, it doesn't matter. It still matches and even outperforms all the vehicles in each category. This thing is an absolute animal and truly lives up to its original beast name. So the Draugr costs just under $1.9 million for its normal price and about $1.4 million for its trade price, which is definitely very expensive. But you're getting the best performing off-road vehicle in the game. And I hate to say it, but honestly, I think it's worth its price. Definitely make sure you get that trade price, though. I would not buy it at the regular price, but at the trade price, honestly, I think it's worth it. With how expensive everything is in GTA Online, this thing is just an absolute beast off-road, and it can climb and go through almost anything. I love it. Now, I understand it might be too pricey for some, so if you want something on a budget, the Camacho is still a very good option and still remains to be the best value in the off-roads class in my opinion, still being in top 5 on this test track and only costs $345,000. Well that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed. Again, remember that if you'd like to see the other videos on the other vehicles I've tested so far and how it's a Class A Drucker compares to them, I will leave the link to the playlist and the spreadsheet down below in the pinned comment which will contain the most updated breakdown and scores for all vehicles in one place. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.